investors. My name is Edwin Epperson, manager of Blue Bay Capital, and I'm helping real estate investors like yourself make wiser, more informed decisions. Today, we're going to be discussing the Burr strategy or the buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat strategy. During this presentation, I will cover what the strategy typically looks like, and then I will cover why this typical strategy or approach to Burr investing may not work for you as you envisioned. And last, I will then share what Blue Bay Capital's solution is to overcome these lost opportunity costs. Let's take a typical example of a Burr strategy. First off, if you are not aware, it is extremely uncommon to have a one loan solution for these type of deals, primarily because the property when first bought would not qualify for the ARV financing amount. Therefore, the investor, you, must get a loan first to purchase and renovate the property and then refinance that loan into a long-term loan, also called a DSCR loan. Let's take this property right here. You're able to get this $125,000 property under contract for only $100,000. You will have to put 20% down on the purchase, and then you get a loan for the remainder of the purchase and the renovation. Let's say the renovation will cost you $60,000. So here you can see the breakdown of your loan. You complete the renovation and the lender's 60,000 has now been put into the property. Your property is now worth 225,000 and here is the breakdown of the hard cost into this project. You have your 20,000 that was put down plus you have the lender's $140,000 loan into this project. Before we break down the repayment of the loan, I want to quickly review the two most common types of refinances. One is called a rate and term or simply a refinance. Here we have a home. The original purchase loan is in the blue and the green loan to the right is the new refinance loan. Let's examine this scenario. The rate and term refinance in most cases allows up to 80% loan to value refinance. This refinance, though, does not allow you cash back at close. This means the new loan must be equal to your old loan, and you cannot receive more than $2,000 cash back or no more than 2% of the new loan back at closing, whichever is more. This is why both the old loan, blue, and the new loan, green, are exactly the same level above. These type of refinances typically have a lower rate than the cash out. The maximum LTV will be heavily determined by your credit score as well by the DSCR or debt service coverage ratio. Now let's look at the cash out refinance strategy, which in most cases investors want so that they can at least recoup their down payment. First thing you will notice is that the new loan green is more than the old loan, the blue. This difference in the loan amount is where the investor gets their cash out. Unlike the rate and term refinance, the most that is allowed in most cases is a loan up to 75% of the current value of the property. The new loan can be more than the old loan and this is where your cash out comes into play. Cash out refinances will typically be a higher rate than a straight rate and term refinance. The amount of your cash out is determined by the maximum of your loan amount. You will examine this later, but you can see that too many investors think they will receive an 80% refinance Yet, when the lender finds out it's a cash-out scenario, then the borrower may not be able to pull out all of their invested capital. This will really come into play in a down market when you see lenders dropping their allowable maximum loan-to-value on cash-out refis. The next thing that determines your maximum loan amount is the credit score of the borrower. If the investor is using an entity, then the borrower whose credit score will be considered must be the majority owner. If there are equal owners, then all owners' credit scores are considered. And depending on the lender, it may be the lowest credit score or the highest credit score that qualifies. It is up to your lender. Ask your refinance lender what the requirements and allowances are for a cash out refi. So here we have our previous example of your renovated property, now worth $225,000. You still have the $140,000 loan in first position and your $20,000 down payment is still invested as well. In this scenario, you want to pull out as much cash as possible. Because you will be receiving at least $2,000 back at close or 2% of the new loan amount, whichever is more, this will be considered a cash out refi 
by the DSCR lender. Many DSCR lenders have tiers based on credit score. These tiers determine LTV as well as rates, and they are constantly changing. It is imperative that you stay on top of your lender to find out what programs are available and what their requirements and allowances are as you approach your refinance date. You are in solid shape because you have at least a 760 credit score, which pulls you in the top tier of almost all DSCR lenders out there today. Because you're in the top tier, you would qualify for a loan of 75% to the current value of the property. Remember, a lower credit score and your maximum loan to value will be lower. So now you're refinancing your property and your new loan amount is $168,750, which is 75% of the value of your property. You must pay back your first position lender so that $140,000 is taken out right off the bat. This leaves you with $28,750. Now you get your initial deposit back, which was 20,000. This leaves you with 8,750 in cash back at close. Not too bad, right? Except for this. If you hadn't been able to make a rate and term refinance, you would have been able to capture five additional percentage of the value of your property or $11,250. As you can see, there are lost opportunity costs for sure. The rate and term refinances are great for someone who has a loan for 80% of the property's value and they want to refinance that into a lower rate loan. The problem with this is multifold. Your acquisition lenders do not go up to 80% loan to ARV or after repair value when providing the initial purchase and renovation capital. The most that they will do is 75% and many will not go above the 70% loan to ARV. So you're stuck in this catch 22 where you will never have a purchase and renovation loan equal to 80% of the ARV. Therefore, you're always going to have untapped equity in your properties. This leads me to the next point, which is the realization that you will have untapped equity if conducting the BRRRR strategy, simply because your initial debt load is always going to be less than the maximum rate, to rate and term refinance allowable. Get this though. If you can get your initial loan amount as close to 80%, assuming you qualify for the takeout loan, and you could get a loan for that amount, how much more capital could you not only free up, but actually make profit by doing the BRRRR strategy? Leading questions, aren't they? Well, guess what? Blue Bay Capital has created a solution just for you, the well-qualified borrower. So here we have the exact same purchase scenario, 20% down, but your lender is Blue Bay Capital. That's me if you didn't catch on. My loan is 177,750, and as you can see, this loan is 79% of ARV. I'm also assuming that you are well qualified and have a credit score well above 760, which would be the only way an investor could utilize this program. So how and why does Blue Bay Capital lend up to 79% of ARV to a well qualified investor? Well, here's a breakdown. You will see that all of our numbers look the same as a normal lender for the purchase and renovation. Nothing special there. However, the difference is we include an equity holdback, which is dispersed to the investor upon verification from our refinance partner that you qualify for an 80% refinance. So now you proceed with the renovation, which we funded 100% for you. You still have your original 20000 invested and used as a down payment. And Blue Bay Capital still has a first position lien totaling 177,750, of which 37,750 is your potential equity. So you have now completed your renovation and you've placed a tenant. You're ready for your refinance. So let's look at the numbers once again. You currently have a first position loan of 177,750, and you still have your $20,000 in down payment. We start the process of qualifying you with our partner lender for a 30 year fixed rate loan. Because the loan amount is 79% of the as is, we will be able to qualify you for a rate and term refinance, which if you remember from earlier, provides better rates and a higher loan to value. Because we worked with you before giving you the loan on the acquisition and renovation, we knew that you would qualify for the maximum rate and term refinance amount 80% of the as is. You have a minimum credit score of 760, and I actually prefer to see it higher than 780, 
but in this case, we'll go with the 760. This prevents qualified investors from becoming unqualified three to six months later due to credit score dropping a few points, which honestly happens all the time. And again, remember, because this is a rate and term refinance, you are able to get more money, meaning a higher loan to value, and it will cost you less, meaning it's a lower rate. You're able to qualify for the 79% complete refinance of Blue Bay Capital's first position loan with a new fixed rate 30-year investor loan. Our loan is paid off. So how do the numbers look? Well, we were able to get paid back our 80000 that we provided to you on your purchase, and we were paid back the 60000 on the renovation. And you were dispersed the equity holdback. Now, out of the equity holdback, you recouped your $20,000 down payment, which leaves you with $17,750 in cash, a 30-year fixed rental loan at 79% loan to value. And at the end of the day, you only had $2,250 of untapped potential cash out. If you are still a little confused, but very interested in how this all works, after it's flushed out, then let's take a look. In our first two examples, we will cover what getting a rate and term refinance and what getting a cash out refinance looks like with other lenders. Then we will recap what Blue Bay Capital's Burr strategy loan looks like. Let's assume in all cases you have a 700 or higher credit score, or 760 or higher credit score, and you would be able to qualify for the 80% rate and term refinance as long as the existing loan was 80% of the ARV or the as is now that it's renovated. So remember, in all three of these scenarios, you purchased the asset for 100,000. You had put down 20,000 and you were able to get a loan for 80,000 on the purchase and 60,000 on the rehab with a total hard cost of 140,000. With the rate and term refinance, all you are able to do is refinance the loan amount, in this case, the 140,000. You still have your untapped or you still have your $20,000 locked into the deal and you still have untapped capital equaling 40,000. In the cash out scenario, remember you were able to qualify for the maximum cash out loan to value, which was 75%. So your refinance loan was slightly higher at 168,750. But remember your rate is now higher and you still have 5% of the potential untapped cash out. That's the difference between a 75% and an 80% a loan to the property value. You were able to recover your 20,000 out of the project. And remember, you walked away with a little bit of cash, that being 8,750. The downside is you still have over 11,250 locked up in untapped equity. Now let's consider Blue Bay Capital's Burr strategy loan. Our loan was 177,750 when you bought the property. Thus, we ensured you were able to number one, qualify for a rate and term instead of a cash out refinance. And number two, get a better rate because it is now a rate and term instead of a cash out refinance. You get a new 30 year fixed rate loan with our partner lender. And let's look at the numbers. You not only recovered your 20,000 that you put down, you walked away with 17,750 in cash, even though the loan was structured as a rate and term, not a cash out. You also only have 2,250 in untapped equity. You're still able to maximize the use of leverage while being able to recycle your capital into your next deal. I know using my Burr strategy loan, I have created a win-win-win solution. So how can Blue Bay Capital help you? Well, we provide fix and flip and new construction loans to real estate investors just like yourself for both the purchase and the construction. We provide 30-year fixed rate loans for long-term and short-term strategies. We also provide transactional funding for wholesalers who want discretion when closing their A to B and B to C transactions. And that wraps up my presentation, going over our Burr strategy loan. My name is Edwin Epperson, manager of Blue Bay Capital. I would very much appreciate being able to connect with you on my social media channels and being able to answer any questions that you have. If you have questions about our loan programs, visit me on the web and navigate to real estate investors and then loan programs. I look forward to serving you this year and helping you build, protect, and preserve your family's generational wealth. 
Make it a great week and God bless.